In the late 1950s, American Airlines organized a competition to create public artworks that would be permanently displayed in the east concourse of the new terminal at New York's JFK Airport. The late Brazilian artist Hector Julio Paride Bernabó, whose professional name was Caribe, submits his work for the competition. Caribe wins both first and second place with one mural depicting colorful festivals of the Americas, reminiscent of the scenes of the Brazilian city of Salvador, where he spent most of his life, and the second mural portraying the pioneer's journey into the American West. Since 1960, literally, millions of travelers experienced the splendor of Caribe's works displayed in one of the busiest airports in the world. However, Time and progress are not always fair to man's expression of creativity and life. In 2007, Darren Hogard, a Skycap captain who admired the artwork for years, learns about the artist's history and fame from Beatrice Esteve, a Brazilian traveler. I asked her what did she think about the murals on the walls, and she took a closer look and she says, you know, I know the guy who painted these, and I said, you got to be kidding me. And he tells me, I've been coming here since a little boy, and I've always loved these panels. And did you know, ma'am, that in 30 days they are going to be destroyed together with the terminal? And I said, but it's not possible. I said, this is a, a legacy. It's an art legacy of humanity. I told him Caribe's story. She told me about the artist and that, you know, what it, what it meant. And each and every position that the persons were in, she knew. And I said, listen, I cannot promise but I'm going to do the best I can to save these artworks. I come home, first thing I do is I pick up the telephone and I ring my very good friend in Bahia, Gilberto Sá. A primeira notícia que eu tive da, da, do que estava acontecendo foi um telefonema da Bia. Me ligou pra, é, porque nós éramos amigos, porque ela sabia que eu gostava de obra de arte, ela sabia que eu gostava de Caribé e porque ela sabia de que eu fazia parte da Odebrecht, que tem esses planos de, de os projetos todos de ação cultural. Then Roberto Sá called me to tell me that the panels were going to be demolished, and uh, between me and Roberto, we said we can't let this happen. We can't. We need to salvage the panels. So the clock was ticking, and the American had a deadline to demolish the terminal, and we had to make a decision and, and uh, take them off the wall and take them off the building. So we the step was let's try to peel it and roll it and then ship it over. And we realized that they were not, we we're not able to do that because the panels were not painted on a piece of frame. They were actually painted on the wall. So the next step was, let's bring the wall down. With Odebrecht's coordination, American Airlines donates the murals to Miami-Dade County to be housed at the new South Terminal of Miami International Airport. Odebrecht takes on the responsibility and investment of removing, restoring, transporting, and installing the murals. Timothy Barica and Steve Tani of New York are selected to guide the removal and restoration process. The first phase of this, we weren't even looking at the paintings as artwork. We were just looking at the task of um, physically getting them out of the building. Each mural measures approximately 50 feet by 17 feet and weighs almost six tons. So the task for removal was in itself a daunting mission. We decided to cut them at basically eight foot lengths because that made handling, crating, shipping, you know, much more manageable. They were cut with a uh, diamond blade saw through about two and a half inches of material and put into a crate, and then that crate was brought to the studio to work with. A team of senior art restorers work meticulously in the Dunright warehouse where the restoration work is being done. This piece had a very strong presence underneath it that was able to be restored and repaired and conserved to a very beautiful state. After the team's painstaking diligence revives the pieces to their original splendor, the last and most delicate phase of the mural's journey begins. Section by section, the murals are carefully transported to their new home in the Miami International Airport. Room was our biggest challenge here. The artwork is so big that getting it off the truck and getting it in, we literally had to leave a storefront window out of the building in order to achieve entry into the building. Like a precious puzzle, the pieces come together under the skillful guidance of both craftsmen and artists. We don't know of another project of the scale that's ever been dismantled and reinstalled in another location. After all their travels and travails, the murals finally have a home 
where the people it celebrates pass every day. And I see the airport as the first portal to the Americas. So when people arrive in Miami, we want them to know they've arrived in a city that captures all of these different cultures. There is no greater gift to Caribe's legacy than allowing his work to embrace the millions that will pass under its splendor for years to come. It's a great uh, celebration of Caribe's legacy and the legacy that each project that we build leaves behind.